All right, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're going to show you just a little bit of how to take care of your tools. Uh, there are some times that your person is not going to carve uh, year round like I do, and so you may have to be gone for a period of time. And to properly store your tools, it's important that you take care of them while you're gone because moisture, humidity, if you live in an area where a lot of salt water is, it can be very havoc, it can bring a lot of havoc to your tools. And so I'm just showing you here a little bit of a couple of hand tools that were given to me years ago that has some piffing on it and uh, pitting and rust that has not been taken care of. And, and so uh, what I do there is I take some uh, emery cloth and I work these over the best that I possibly can and uh, then put a little a light oil on them to uh, keep them in good shape. And then, especially if you got larger tools like this, number three sweep here, um, you know, you can see these are a lot better shape than these tools here are. And so, uh, if I'm not gonna use a tool for quite a bit, uh, quite some time, I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and just spray a little bit on there. <clears throat> and then you're gonna take it and in between, just bring your tool across and give your tool just a little light film and then storm away and you should be in really good shape. And so remember uh, not to get too crazy about too much oil on here, but just lightly coat on your shirt here an old rag and just work it in between and just gradually pull it and through there and you can tell there's a little bit of oil on there and that's all you really need to keep your tools in very good shape. Now another thing too of protection is a tool roll, all right? And you can get these in the various uh, of pockets from 12 up to 24, even up to 48 pockets. Um, but again, everyone has their way of uh, hauling their tools around or keeping them safe. But uh, you can get these pretty, more, pretty much anywhere you uh, shop at for wood carving supplies. And then also too, to protect the edges, um, you can also use wine corks. If you have someone that has extra wine corks laying around, they're great to, uh, to put in uh, at the edge of a tool right into it and it protects uh, that tool from any bumping and, and dropping or whatever it may be. So wine corks are a very good, uh, useful tool, a uh, little asset to your, little, your, to your carving. And then also to, um, you know, a, a insulation board is just another temporary a way of protecting your tools and always be careful as you're putting that in. Sometimes it's probably best just to put it on the table and, and sink it in. But anyway, you can see there that it protects the tool. Now over time, that's going to probably wear out and you'll just have to uh, get you another one. But always watch how you're pulling it out and make sure that you're always aware of where that edge is coming out at and as you're putting it back in. And do not get too familiar with these because you know, over time, these things will give away. Same way, same thing with cork. It will eventually give away. This is just a temporary uh, fix to help you to protect the edge of your tools. And so, again, tool rolls are great. You know, you can roll them up. And uh, if you have these little things also, too, you'll get in pill bottles. Uh, these are just little uh, packages that absorb some moisture. Just throw one in your, in your tool roll and roll it up, and it just absorbs the moisture that might be in there. And just roll it up and put your tie around it or however you fasten it, and that way you can store your tools in a dry, a dark place if you're not going to use them for quite a while. So these are just a few things. And again, remember, your tools are your extension of your hand, and they will be a help to you if you take care of them. 